Morse missiles arrive at Cape Canaveral for their first test firings from the nuclear submarine expressly designed for the job, USS George Washington. The tests are a stirring climax to a four-year program to mate the nuclear submarine and the intermediate-range ballistic missile. Now the sub's missile hatches are cleared and ready. They'll house the 28-foot two-stage rockets until the moment when mighty gusts of compressed air will shoot the Polaris from under the sea to the surface and ignition. Every stage of the loading and the cruise to the firing area about 30 miles off Cape Canaveral is under detailed scrutiny of a battery of test instruments. The George Washington goes down some 50 to 60 feet below the surface and the time for launching is at hand. after a startling off-angle emergence, corrects itself and soars downrange 1,100 miles to its target with remarkable accuracy. A few hours later, the second Polaris is fired. Another successful shot, an achievement of major strategic importance for America's defense. 